my channel Sophia's Boutique. Thank you for joining me and thank you for all my new subscribers again. Um, lovely to have you all joining me on my journey, sewing journey. So yeah, so as the title suggests, today is my sewing plans for March. I know we're already on, today is the 7th of March, so yeah <laughs> hmm, a little bit late to the game but anyway by the time i get this edited and, and posted i don't know when it'll be but these are my plans for march so the first one is an alteration now normally i don't like doing any type of alterations i hate it absolutely hate it once i've made something i'm like that's it i've made it i, I can't bother with it anymore i'll change it in the second time that i saw it it's really an awful thing and I really want to get out of the habit but it's the way I am so right so the first thing is I had this fabric was from first for fabrics and I had ordered it for myself to make the Nina Lee um South Bank sweater dress jumper dress which I made and I've I've got a video on and everything um and then I had some fabric left over so I thought, I know, I shall make the Made by Jack's Mum Ragland Beep Beep uh, jumper. So I made that for my little nephew with the fabric. But what I did was, with the neckband, I didn't, I like the fact of having the same fabric for the bottom hemband and also for the neckband but I didn't take into consideration the fact that it's not as stretchy as if I put proper ribbing in there um now I don't know if it's going to stretch out over time or I don't know but anyway I gave it to um to my sister she tried to put it on him and realized that it wouldn't go over his head so um what I had to do is I've had to, because it's a raglan, um, so one of the slits at the back, which where the neckband um, slit was, I've just unpicked that. So what I'm thinking is I've got some um, snaps poppers, so I'm just going to kind of show you what I've done. There's a little pin in there. So I've hand sewn that, so it's a neat edge. I'm going to add a bit of fabric there and then hopefully put some poppers there and there so that we can get it over his head and then we can just pop pop poppers at the back then so and I've, I've got some poppers because I ordered a big pack of plastic poppers ages ago um, from Amazon and it was a massive big box so it's come with all the colours under the rainbow so I've got colours that are going to be perfect for this so yeah, that's it shouldn't take too long, but the thing is, when you're when you're handling the fabric too much, it starts to fray, it starts to oh, I don't know, it starts to become a little bit um weak in the area, like it's it's starting to fray a little bit there. So I just want to get that extra bit in there and then just be able to put the poppers on and then that's it. He can then wear that. But he loves um anything with pockets so there's two little pockets there and there as well so yeah because he likes to collect stones and put stones in his pockets so yeah so that's that so hopefully I'll get that sewn up and then he can wear that um, so I really want to do it while while the weather's still quite cool so he can wear it um, no point in in doing it when it's summer because this is just the perfect fit for him so if I don't get it done as soon as possible he's not going to be able to wear it because it's not going to be cold enough so that's that one and then I've mentioned this fabric before this is again fabric that I bought from First for Fabrics so this really cool um, fabric that changes light under UV lights so Again, I want to make, not a Made by Jack's Mum now, a Waves and Wild. And I've mentioned this in my pattern and fabric haul for Feb and March. Um, I bought a load of, load of um, Waves and Wild patterns and this was one of them. So just a, a basic Ragland 
um, t-shirt and I thought I was gonna make this in the beep beep jumper pattern and I thought to myself does it really matter that it's not jumper fabric um, I wasn't really sure but then because the patterns were like this pattern was like two pounds uh, in the sale so I've just got it anyway I thought it best to just use the fabric that they asked and then in this on the inspiration page there's um they've actually got detailing of how to put um little poppers on so i thought that was really cute and i thought i'm just gonna get that then because that wasn't in that's not in the in the beep beep ragland um jumper one so yeah so this hopefully gonna make this up in this and then my little nephew can wear this in spring or in summer as well then that'd be really cool wouldn't it um so yeah this is not the most um pressing thing that i'm gonna make but i want to make it as soon as possible um so because just with his um sizings and everything because he's obviously constantly growing so i just want to i want to get it made up as soon as possible because I, i've only bought half meter so that's the reason that i do want to get it made up sooner rather than later um so yep yeah, that's that one that i want to get made up but as i said hopefully this month but it's not it's not the top of my list is that one and then what i want to make is um so there is at the minute um on instagram sewing for endo and it's um hashtag from so what if i sew um so she's got a youtube channel and she's on instagram as well um and it's all about raising awareness for endometriosis raising money for it as well so i think that's such a fantastic thing and definitely to raise awareness um and raising awareness is is really important and good thing so it's all about wearing yellow so i bought this fabric a little while ago now it's but it was in one of my fabric hauls anyway and this fabric was from Dewsbury market really cheap i think it only cost me two f no th i think it was like three pounds um three pounds a meter or four pounds at the most uh two three four pounds a meter anyway this fabric was and i love it because it's a viscose and it's got yellow in there and pops of purple and little white flowers so i thought this would be perfect for my sewing for endo because of the yellow because it's all about sewing um something up in yellow so and i had and i didn't want to go out and buy um more fabric so because my fabric stash is heaving so i'm really really trying to sew through my fabric stash i know it's so difficult for me because i i love buying fabric and i'm i'm such a magpie I've, and I'm, because i follow a lot of sewing um because i follow a lot of sewing people as well on instagram now and sewing shop and fabric shops i'm constantly seeing fabric and i'm wanting i'm wanting all the time so i'm really 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 trying hard to rein it in and yeah control my fabric buying so yeah this is the fabric that i want to sew the it's the huge stress by friday pattern company so love this style of this dress now i have about two meters or two and a half meters of this so i'm hoping i can make this i do a lot of the time there's a lot of pattern tetris going on <laughs> when i'm sewing i do like to get the most out of out of the fabric that i have um so yeah this i, I love the, the styling of this i absolutely love this um love the length of it the line drawing let me show you the line drawing as well that's the line drawing so it goes in all those buttons down the front um and the tie-in at the back as well so i really like this um, and i've been wanting to make this for a little while and i thought i know this will be perfect the yellow for sewing for endo um and also i get to use this pattern as well <clears throat> and i don't like to use now a lot of people 
make twirls um, where they will then check the, the fit of the pattern and everything and I don't really do that. What I do is I'll just use my cheapest fabric um, to make a pattern first and then when I've got it right then I'll maybe make it up in, in, a, in a more expensive fabric then. So that's all I do and most of the time only been a couple of things that I just will not wear. Um, not many at all so I've, I make sure that the first time I'm using a pattern I'm not not precious about the fabric at all although it's a very nice fabric um yeah so that I definitely want to make that sewn up as soon as possible because sewing for endo is March and I can't remember the exact date but I'll put it down here when the exact date is for that so that's probably going to be my top Apart from um, adjusting that, that jumper, this will be the next thing that I will definitely be sewing up as soon as possible. So that's that. And then the next thing that I um, am hoping to make up in March is everyone's probably, um, everyone has probably heard about this. It's the frugal frocks. Um, so it's the Yorkshire Sew Girl, Rowan, and uh, I think it's Sam from Frugal Summer. Um, so yeah, they have got the frugal frocks, which is such a good concept. And they're both Yorkshire girls as well, so yay. <laughs> um, and they've come up with such a great concept as well. Frugal frocks is basically, you'll know it anyway, but I'll just mention it for anyone who's not heard of it. It's where you use, um, a pattern that you've already got or pattern that is free pattern that you acquired that you didn't have to pay for as such so it might have been a gift um i got it free in a sewing pattern or free downloads as well and then you use a fabric from your stash to make that up and then you um, post it on the 31st of march on insta uh instagram so yeah i thought this is a perfect challenge for me because i really do don't need to be encouraged to be buying any more patterns or fabric so perfect this is the fabric that i have now this i bought ages and ages ago i probably bought this a couple of probably more about two years ago about two years just over two years ago and i was so in love with it when i bought it and now i'm just like Mm, it's okay but when I got it so I got this from Colville Fabrics I think it is so it's on it was online and I, this, this was when I didn't have a clue about sewing at all I don't think I'd even started sewing I just was collecting fabric I think at this point <sighs> it's awful awful when I think about it but yeah and um, this was um it was on facebook and i think on a sunday they would have like a live auction probably still going but i don't have facebook um so anymore so yeah they you'd go online and you'd he'd show the fabric and you'd be like i want it and whoever messaged first would get the fabric um and I think it was a minimum of three meters as well that you had to get at the time. Um, I think, as I said, this is going back a little while. And I was so in love with this fabric when I bought it. And this is the thing about buying fabrics and keeping it and having a massive stash, which I hate because I'm like, mm, when I look at it now, but at the time, I was so in love. I was desperate to get this. Um, I can't even remember how much it was. I don't think it was cheap with shipping and everything but yeah <clears throat> um so it's a scuba fabric so there's loads of it <laughs> loads and loads of it it is pretty it is pretty but i think at the time it was really on trend i don't know if it's still on trend anymore or not probably not now i'm looking at it i'm just just not in love with it like i was but anyway and I wanted to make a high-low dress with it. So I've not been able to find a high-low dress that I completely wanted. Um, so anyway, I when I bought Simply Sewing magazine, th this was a high-low um, pattern that came with it. Now, though this is a top, um, I'd make mine a little bit longer. Now, it does say fabric suggestions. 
it says it's woven, lightweight wovens and cotton, double gauze. Um, doesn't say anything about scuba. So this one's going to be a bit of an experiment really. I don't know how it's going to work out. It might not work out at all. Um, so I'm going to give it a go anyway because it's all about, it's no point in, I think, in the in the spirit of frugalissima and frugal sewing, I'm just going to use this rather than having it sitting in my stash doing nothing and it'll teach me a lesson for not just buying fabric and not having a plan of what to make although my last <laughs> fabric haul I bought some a couple of fabrics that I've got no idea what I'm going to make with so I've obviously not learnt my lesson that much but hopefully um, I am trying hard so yeah this one and hoping to make a high low dress so although it's a top I am going to lengthen it so it probably comes to about there and then the back so although on me because I'm only I'm only five foot so on me it probably will be like a dress to be fair um but yeah I'll have a look at it and and yeah watch this space so 31st of March hopefully that I'll be able to post that although I was making um I was all set for Galentine's um night on Instagram for pigeon wishes the pink dress and everything and I chose the Asher dress as it took me like three weeks to make it because I was just my brain was fried with it so I didn't get that made in time as I said these are loose plans if it doesn't get made it doesn't get made and not putting any pressure on myself at all I just ideally would like to but if it doesn't I'm not going to be upset or disappointed I'll just be a little bit later than everybody else and then I'll still have a nice outfit um, even if I've missed the, the deadline so to speak um, and then last but not least is um, so one of my lovely subscribers so Joey um, she uh, commented on one of my videos I think she's a new uh, youtuber as well um, and she was like would you like to um, collaborate on a pattern and I'm like yeah I'd absolutely love that um, as I said uh, all my friends none of them are into sewing so I was like yeah definitely it's so nice to collaborate with someone um, and I've seen I've watched quite a few collaborations so I think it was really good um, and she said she'll have a look at my um, my pattern haul and see if she has any of the same patterns anyway and then she um, so that she had the forget me not um adeline wrap dress and top so um yes yeah, so i thought yeah lovely that's that's so brilliant to have someone to collaborate with um on a pattern so yeah so we are going to make that so i have chosen from my stash again I have not gone out and bought this at all um, this like beautiful purple I don't think purple is a, is a colour that suits me I, I don't think it really suits me but it's in my stash and I don't think I even bought this I think this was this was for my mum's stash um, so really old but it's um, it is a stretch now it is quite thin though um so the adeline dress it's intermediate and it's a wrap style dress um now i got this because i really like the let me show you at the back it's really cute oh. when it cinches in um and it says the material Adeline is designed for light to medium weight non-stretch wovens with good drape. Cotton, viscose, rayon, silk, wool and linen are ideal. Try a chambray or linen for a casual feel. Oh. So it's supposed to be non-stretch. This is stretch. Slightly stretchy. It's not very stretchy. It has got a slight stretch. Hmm. Okay. I might have to have a rain check on this one then. 
I didn't. I thought on the, on the model at the front. Oh, they don't have it on this one. But on the model, um, it looked like she had a stretch. It looked like it was stretched. So, yeah, there is there is a stretch to this fabric. Um, don't know if it's too much of a stretch or not. Probably is, to be fair, and it says non-stretch. Or do I just give it a go anyway? No, if it says it's supposed to be woven, I should go back and have a look and <laughs> I've got plenty of my stash so I can definitely have a look and, and see what else um, is in there. We we'll, shall see. I might message them and see would it work with a slight stretch. There is a slight stretch. Oh well, it's not all um, perfect, <laughs> so as you've seen, so yeah, that one, I'll have to have a look and see what I'm going to do with that one. Um, but yeah, so far, I think I've got plenty to be getting on with. Um, I know that um, Joe and I have said that we are going to hopefully be done up the end of April. End of April, I think we've said. Um, yeah so i've got plenty of time for that one hopefully um but yeah they are those were my plans for march so hopefully i will get these things sewn up um I'll, and yeah thank you for watching and if you have enjoyed watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe and if you can put a thumbs up as well that'd be brilliant and do comment in the comment section as well. I love to get comments from yourselves and, and interact with you. Um, and yeah, so hope everyone is well. And I hope everyone is well. And keep safe. And until next time, bye.